What's up guys, welcome back. Today we're going for a ride in a 1956 210. This one's got the 350 under the hood, cold AC, chrome valve covers. Looks like upgraded brakes, aluminum heads. We got a electric fan on the radiator, disc brakes in the front, drum in the rear, a pretty paint job. Matches our new shirts that we just got. We got chrome bumpers, tailpipes, American racing rims. And we got a special guest today, my buddy Cameron. He just got a new shirt. Yes, sir. Love Show it. it off. It's about that time. Yes, it is. Let's go for a ride. Before we take off, we'll look around the interior, kind of check everything out. Place your bets. Do you think the horn works? It's a little game we play here on the channel. The dash is in pretty good shape. Looks like somebody had their uh, navigation up there. Uh, afterward, the gauge is under the dash. B and M shifter, tack. Showing 52,000 miles. I can't stand behind mileage on a 1956 model. Can you? The headliner in this one. Uh, a little weak on the edges. Just needs to be tightened up. It's new, but that's what you call a mechanic special. The package tray on this one looks pretty good. Back seats in great shape. Let's start her up. See if that horn works. Oh, nope, no horn on this one. Wipers? No wipers either. Switch is messed up. It's just spinning freely. Hey, the other one was just like this. If you look at the 57 right over there, there's a video out on it too. Just like that, but it started working. The more I messed with it. Fan, cold AC. Oh yeah, you hear that compressor kick? Just pulled down on my Lars. That feels good, don't it? Oh yeah. Quick. Yeah, water tip still down on this one. Full pressure's up. Radio? What we got here? Live life loving. Whoa, that was loud. Let's hit the road. See how she runs and drives. Okay, got you on my head, getting ready to take off. Um, and hit the road here. We got the AC on blast. We're gonna cut it down so we can actually hear. We'll leave it on. Cameron, you, you don't even use AC. <laughs> Roll the windows down, take the doors off. <laughs> what? <laughs> Who needs doors? <laughs> All right, let's hit the road. <laughs> let's go straight as an arrow down the road. Turn it quick, feels good. tried to get down with us. Did you hear it? Yeah. We just dusted him. That'll work. This one feels pretty good. Definitely got lower gears in it. That's probably why we pulled on him so hard. Hitting the brakes. Oh yeah, we got good brakes. Let's see what he said. Let's see. <laughs> He may not have raced us, I don't know. Engine temperature is right below 200, exactly where it needs to be. Cold air is still blowing and it's a lot colder since we pulled out of the lot. Very, very cold. Uh, we got, we're good on gas, I know that. Gas gauge is working in this one. Turn signals popping up on the dash on both sides. car is very responsive put you back in the seat just for a 350 that's pretty good it's probably them aluminum heads I didn't build the motor so I don't know what the internals are but it feels good to me we're gonna pull in this parking lot right here and I'm gonna get some outside shots I'm also gonna light the undercarriage up overhead stuff drop by the cameras uh, look at the detailed pictures of maplemotors.com and let's have some fun
one of those uh, digital style radios. It's supposed to replicate the old school radio and it has the USB and the aux cord. But if you have a new iPhone, that doesn't work anyway. All right. Isn't it cool? You just pull it out the ignition on this one. Mm -hmm. All these uh, 50s models actually do that. All right. Engine temperature still below 200. We've been going around the parking lot, what, 15, 20 minutes? Yeah. Oil pressure is at 40. Let's roll out. Oh, I gotta make sure y'all don't. Okay. Yeah, y'all look good. Did y'all just get up? All right. Hey. <laughs> Okay, you know the deal. New route. Okay. crooked again I don't know what's going on maybe I need to tighten this thing up my head's already pretty big I don't think we can get any tighter <laughs> this one really does get down this car is pretty heavy too For the last test drive of the day, this is pretty enjoyable. It's a good car. Car shows tomorrow. I'll be one to drive up there. I'm off tomorrow. Suspension wise, pretty smooth. As soon as I get back to the lot, we're gonna do a detailed walk around video too, just like I do on all the videos. But for all you new guys, I like pointing out the flaws. steering one I think I do check that fluid when we get back to some reason this camera keeps turning I glance down at y'all and have to fix it every and maybe just you know, boom, boom, when we're getting on the gas, mm -hmm. it's lifting everything up. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie, I'm glad you brought the stash with you today. Looks pretty good, man. Appreciate <laughs> you. Just gotta shave everything off around it. I'll get in trouble for that. Girl, get mad at you? No, she'll, she doesn't like it, period. <laughs> Golly, this traffic. It's for real. We're going after this truck. Do it. There's about as fast as you go in Hendersonville. <laughs> I'm just going to 
gonna tilt my head. Look, now it's straight. <laughs> well, one thing I missed, I just noticed it. The speedometer doesn't work at all. That does show you how much I look at the speedo. And that last one was shifter. We'll try her again. Shifters act a little bit funny. Let me pull in here. I want to see what's going on with B and M shifters. Usually are pretty good about staying together and being a solid shifter, but. Hey, there's reverse guys. You haven't seen that yet. There's first, second, neutral. It's supposed to lock you out of neutral, but this one doesn't. May have to take this shifter apart, see what's going on the inside of it. But it, it's supposed to lock you out of going into reverse. I'm pretty sure you're not supposed to slip up into neutral because what if you're like racing somebody or playing around out here? Neutral's not bad, reverse will be real bad. Yeah. That's happened before, a long time ago. That was on a test drive when that happened. You tear your rear end up. Uh, it was, I can't remember, I think it was an old Corvette and it was jumping all over the road. I, was, I told her to get out. <laughs> so you can't drive no more. <laughs> so you just scared my heart out of my chest. It was crazy. All right. We're gonna pull in the parking lot here and do the outside flaw inspection now. Try not to block him in because I know he's gonna be wanting to get out here in a second. There's reverse again. Okay. We got her done. Thanks for riding with me, camera. Yes, sir. Thanks for taking me. You ever rode one of these? Not a Bel-Air, no. No? What's the 210? Trim package. <laughs> What's up and welcome back. Today we're walking around this 1956 210. Be pointing out flaws, chip scratches, anything I can find. Do have those detailed pictures at maplemotors.com. So go on over there, check that out. I have financing and shipping as well. Front bumper on this one. Look how clean all the chrome is. They did the grill. Looks like most of the trim. This is a pretty car. A little imperfection right there. We're going to go down the side of the car now. You got some uh, chips right there in the paint, up and over the fender, a couple little chips there. Went on down. Pretty good at the bottom of the door so far. Up and over the fender. Coming on down the side of the car. a very straightforward car here i mean there's not very many flaws everything's nice and clean got a light scratch there that should come out got a little spot here it should come out as well looking over the fender light light scratch there i could take a wax pad and get that off i wouldn't worry about that a couple little spots there they should come out as well as that it's all sitting on top of the paint right down in here you got some indentions in the paint also there Looking over the front windshield, pretty good shape. Trim looks good around the window. The little screws on this one have some rust coming through. All the trim looks nice and clean. A little bit of pitting on your door handle. A chip right here. Also got a couple of scratches on your trim there. A little wax left in your jam. A couple scratches there. Looks like a scratch on the back here.
checking over the back window pretty good shape and over the roof got some little specks on there they're all wiping off it's probably wax or something in the air it looks like wax to me it's all coming off though coming around the back new bumper nice and clean your jams look good uh, they put some carpet in here it looks nice It's glued down, so I'm not gonna rip it up. Weather stripping looks good. Coming on down. Going ahead and shutting the trunk. chip in the paint there coming down the side and over the fender a little scuff there I think that'll wipe right off it looks like something from the road also got some dust down there too got a little spot there behind the bumper Coming down the side here. Got wiped right off. All the stuff I'm seeing looks like it's gonna wipe off. That right there is a chip. The antenna's loose. Goodness, that thing's super loose. We need to tighten that up. Super loose. Come on now. Spin. I'll get it after the video. But yeah, I'm gonna tighten that up should actually sit right on top of there looks like there's a couple scuffs on both sides but that probably wipe off there that looks like it's sitting on top of the paint you got a chip here windshield looks great yeah they must have been waxing a car next to this because some on the window and everything that's what that is there's a crack right here in your pillar Got some pitting in your chrome. Back over the back window. Up the roof. Made it around this ride. Let's go ahead and check the interior out a little bit closer, get her started, and we'll conclude this video. I think I showed that. I'm sure I did. Door jam looks great. It's a little winged out over here. Weather stripping's new. Carpet looks great. Seat's in good shape. Back seat looks awesome. Package tray, headliner, wrinkled, but it's new. Reach on in.
pretty quiet. Coming down with the hood. Little chip there. Little chip there. got one right there in the corner there you got some chips on the hood other than that we made it around this whole ride check it out MapleMotors.com. I have shipping financing available. 100 detailed pictures in. All of our rides are on there. If it's available, I'll have it listed. Don't forget to check out the store. Grab you some new shirts. Grab you some gear. I got a new line of shirts coming out here in the next month or so. I want to thank you again for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Later, guys.